Art is the highest form of hope. While hope may seem hard to come by right now, art is not. All you have to do is look for it. For that, we take you first to the Rose Kennedy Greenway. The public art program on the Greenway started about six years ago. We are a park system that does all artwork, temporary and contemporary. Lucas Cowan is the Greenway Conservancy's director and curator of public art. I think it's really important, especially for artists, to move outside of white wall gallery systems or museums or their studios to bring their ideas to fruition in public space. Works of art in various forms are strategically situated along the one and a half miles of Greenway that stretch from Chinatown to the North End. Each year the theme changes and new works are introduced. The idea of this year's theme around immigration, culture and identity is really to expand the notion of how interconnected we are through multiple cultures. Artist Catalina Delgado Trunk, a native of Mexico who now lives in New Mexico, embodies that theme with her Global Connections installation. She's actually created an eight panel story that spans two park areas on these light blades that tell the creation of the earth, of the land, of the moon, of the sun, and then the distribution of food. Delgado Trunk works with papel picado, paper cutout. She draws an image on paper and cuts out the shape. Here, the image was photographed and printed on vinyl before hanging. She uses food as a metaphor for the interconnectedness of us all. Another artist, Ferran Dai, created this neon sign called A Mouse with Ears and Tail. It actually traces the history of the uh, character for mouse in Mandarin Chinese, all the way back to the first writing of the word mouse. This is part of a 12-year curation that will showcase all of the animals of the Chinese zodiac. Ferran Dai is an artist that really works around the concept of communication and language. The Greenway is committed to its concept of providing public art, now more than ever, as people spend more time outdoors. It's a park for all people. To be able to have access to the arts and access to local, national, and international artists and those ideas that are happening and conversations that can happen in reflecting with this artwork is so important. Curtis Williams is another artist newly contributing to the local outdoor art landscape. You can see an image and immediately be able to respond to it. So I like to do that in my work as well, create something that's just in your face and something that people can enjoy, but then also create works that do have a deeper meaning. Curtis moved to Boston five years ago. At the time, he was working mostly with acrylic paints. A couple of years later, he added spray painting to his portfolio. Since it's an aerosol can, getting used to not having contact with what you're creating was the hardest part for me. And then getting used to the different tips that you're able to use. But now I feel like I've been getting more adept, so I'll lay down line work, and then you use the base color and you cut it. He continued to hone his craft and started working with Street Theory Gallery in Cambridge. When a request for an artist for an important project came in, the gallery's curators recommended Curtis. I wanted to incorporate the shattered glass back into the piece. Just juxtapose, you know, real life with the art and, you know, art imitates life. So just using the shattered glass as the basis and then having hearts flow out of it, you know, just still shows love. Curtis transformed a piece of plywood covering a South End wine shop's broken storefront into a piece of art. Urban Grapes' glass entry was shattered during a Black Lives Matter protest, and its owner, T.J. Douglas, wanted to use the board that covered it to deliver a message to the community. Windows are just things. Just that statement alone, I think it's so powerful. You can repair a window, but you can't get back lives. A shared sense of perspective between both men, and Curtis has an optimistic outlook for the future. Good things can come from bad situations, so hopefully people will continue to do what they're doing with the peaceful protesting and trying to get this message across, and hopefully, you know, we can see better days soon. That's kind of what I try to do with my work, try to turn, you know, bad things into something good. That positivity is something he's had more of an opportunity to share with his recent completion of several public murals. Not everybody frequents galleries, which is always the case, but with outdoor murals, people are always outside, especially with COVID happening right now. Increased access to art can also help make it feel more inclusive. It's like a universal language that everyone's able to see and understand. 
If you visit the Global Connections installation after dusk, there's another fun interactive way to observe Catalina Delgado trunks work. You can text any color from your phone to change the hue of the light blades, illuminating the background of any shade of your choice. Still to come, Massachusetts wine is all the rage. Seriously.